the bows on Dur Eisendrak are some of the most unique and powerful wonder weapons we've ever seen in a zombies map. And there being five of them, they've been ranked hundreds of times. But most of these rankings seem to be out of date, so let's make an updated ranking of all the bows on DE. Number five, the Wrath of the Ancients. It only makes sense that this is the worst of the bows because all the other ones are just an upgraded version of this one. To obtain this bow, all you need to do is feed three dragons around the map a couple of zombies and you get a quite powerful bow that will last you up to rounds like 12 to 15 at which point it just doesn't have enough ammo to sustain itself. All around a pretty good weapon, but in comparison to the other bows, it's nowhere near as powerful. Number 4, the Wolf Bow. The charge shot on this bow shoots a powerful blast that kills all zombies it hits. Problem with it is that the blast is the narrowest thing ever. Whenever you shoot, this, you just end up killing the zombies in a straight line and not killing anything around you. It also can't hit the zombies behind you, so if you ever get stuck, you're just screwed. Now you might think that if the blast is super narrow, then at least it would do a ton of damage to whatever it hits, but you would be wrong. This bow actually does less damage to panzers than the Wrath of the Ancients, making it almost useless during the boss fight. The shots being super narrow also makes controlling an area extremely difficult, which is necessary on DE because of the Simon Says steps and the Ghost steps. Because the bow can't kill groups of zombies, you end up needing to spam it, which leads you almost never having any ammo for this bow. Now with all these bad things, there has to be some upside, right? Maybe it's easy to get. I will admit that this is the simplest upgraded bow to get, but just because it's simple doesn't mean it's fast to get. This is because one of the steps to acquire the bow requires you to sacrifice 10 zombies three different times. So to recap, this is the worst of the upgraded bows because it struggles to hit multiple zombies, i.e. it has no area damage. There's almost no damage to panzers, making it useless during the boss fight. You have to spam it so it runs out of ammo way too fast, and it's the second slowest bow to actually get. All this comes together to make a bow that just isn't that good. Number 3, the fire bow. Let's start with what's really good about this bow. It melts panzers. The first shot locks the panzer in place, and then you can just start laying shots into him while he can't move. The charge shot on this bow kills zombies in a good radius, but the problem is that it doesn't have any lingering effects. So if you want to control an area, you need to spam the bow. This causes the bow to run out of ammo quite fast. The real downside of this bow comes from how difficult and complicated it is to make. The first step of upgrading this bow has you wait at the rocket pad until it activates, which alone can take 5 to 10 minutes. Coincidentally, the other bows take basically the same amount of time to fully obtain. So basically the first step of the fire bow takes just as long to finish as it does to fully acquire another upgraded bow. And this is all before the trick shots where if you're playing online with a bad connection you just cannot hit. The reason that this bow is in the third spot is what it's best at which is killing panzers is easily accomplished by pap shotguns. But at least it can kill more zombies than the wolf bow. Number 2, the Void Bow. My personal favorite bow. This thing is just amazing at everything and doesn't have a real weakness. Let's start with making the bow. This bow is the second most complicated bow to make, however once you figure out what's the best way to make it, it becomes really easy and one of the fastest bows to make actually. The charge shot on this bow is amazing. When you shoot it, it will kill all the zombies that it hits, then make a portal that will be open for about 5 seconds, killing zombies in a radius that is insanely big. Now some people don't like this bow because they say it takes too long to kill zombies. I personally have never had a problem with this bow not killing fast enough, except for one instance, and in that instance I just shoot another portal and then I never have a problem. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that this bow can have up to three portals open at a time, making it so you can spam this if you're ever in trouble? On top of this, the Void Bow also melts panzers. If you think the Void Bow is bad, all I ask of you is that you try the boss fight with this thing. It makes it an absolute joke. The radius on the bow is so large that it covers the whole boss arena, so long as you have one portal open, you won't have to deal with any zombies the entire time. But on top of that, when the panzers come, you can just keep your distance and spam them with portals, which also kills all the zombies in the arena. Again, if you don't think this bow should be number two, just try it during the boss fight and you'll change your mind. Number one, the storm bow. I think we all knew that this was going to be the best bow. When you shoot the storm bow, it creates a storm, who would have thought, that lasts for almost 10 seconds and it kills all zombies that are near it. You basically can just shoot the bow down and then just chill for 10 seconds. It's almost impossible to die to zombies if you have this bow. Notice how I said zombies. That's because this bow doesn't work well against panzers. Don't get me wrong, this thing can kill panzers, but it takes a boatload of shots and just isn't worth it. Now, you may ask, well, how is this the best bow if it has a huge weakness that it can't kill panzers? To that I say, the major weakness isn't really a problem because it's perfectly covered by every shotgun in BO3. You can just use the storm bow to kill zombies and then switch your shotgun to kill the panzers. 
On top of all this, it's also the easiest bow to make. The storm bow is the best because it's easy to make. Make zombies not a problem and its only weakness of not doing enough panzer damage is perfectly covered by the shotguns in BO3. That was my ranking of the Duraz and Drac bows. If you like these kinds of ranking videos, check out this video where I rank the buildables in Black Ops 2. If you like this video, consider leaving it a like or subscribe because these videos take an insane amount of time to make. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.